Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Reports out of Russia say that Murat Gassiev, who's moved up to heavyweight, has left matchroom boxing before he's even done a round in the ring at the new weight. The former unified cruiserweight champion has been inactive since mid-2018 after losing the World Boxing Super Series final to Alexander Usyk. Made his intention clear to move up to heavyweight, signed with matchroom in April 2019, but has not been cited since. And mostly it's been put down to injuries and he was meant to fight recently on the card the Mikey Garcia and Jesse Vargas undercard but pulled out late and some of what's happening now and being said puts some of that into context but also it makes me question some of the injuries that have been sort of thrown out there as an excuse and it's a bit more complicated than saying Matchroom hasn't treated him well or something like that because Matchroom wasn't his only promoter there's a couple of others so we'll talk about this and um, what does this really mean what's really going on buckle in let's go so first, I want to start with a post on social media, which sums up the reports coming out of Russia. So see here on screen, uh, breaking news, reports are coming out of Russia that former unified cruiserweight champion Murat Gassiev has left matchroom and signed with Patriot Boxing of Russia. He is now slated to return to the ring on April 25th in Russia. So seemingly coming out of nowhere, to some extent, joining with a new promoter. But maybe some of what's been happening in recent months, in the past 18 months or so, perhaps it actually has been more to do with uh, promotional issues. Because when a fighter isn't in the ring, it's either one of two things generally. Injury, which uh, Murat Gassiev had been putting down his delayed start at heavyweight, or promotional issues. But Matchroom isn't just the only one that was co-promoting him. So see here on screen, so this is from the announcement of Murat Gassiev joining a DAZN and Matchroom, etc. back in April 2019. So he was signing on a promotional deal with uh, Matchroom Boxing USA, Ural Boxing Promotion, and Warriors Boxing. So it could actually be that there's some disagreements or dissatisfaction with these other two outfits. It's really hard to say, but I don't think we can just sort of say it's some sort of disagreement with matchroom boxing just because we don't have all the facts. But obviously something hasn't been going right. And you may recall when he pulled out recently, he did allude to some issues. But I think most of us either put it down to um, poor preparation in terms of, uh, they were saying at the time, sparring partners and a lack of preparation, uh, but also so um, I think a lot of us were speculating, was it actually injury? Was that preventing him, even though he said he was healthy? And see here on screen, this is the post. I am formed to regret with great disappointment that a few days ago, I and coach Abel Sanchez decided to abandon the fight with Jerry Forrest on February 29th. I am healthy and trained, but as a result of some disagreements within our team, the preparation for the battle was not organized properly. So what does that actually mean in the context of this new information with him leaving his promotional arrangements, leaving Matchroom USA, leaving Euro Boxing and Warriors Boxing? Clearly, there was something happening behind the scenes that wasn't right, and Gassiev has had enough and gone elsewhere. So this uh, deal signing on with Matchroom USA, along with Euro Boxing and Warriors Boxing, ultimately he's uh, been on the books for the best part of a year and done nothing at heavyweight so far but reportedly has a fight coming up on april the 25th so you got to say his uh, time you know training in america for a fight in america it's all come to nothing and it's really been a massive failure to launch sort of situation and gassiev with his ability because he's a, a very tough and powerful boxer he's going to give some heavyweights a lot of trouble with his power you know he's been sparring with heavyweights forever in a day Chris Ariola says he's the hardest puncher he's ever fought he's going to knock some guys out so it's a shame that one these injuries that has been talked about but two clearly there's been some promotional issues something not right behind the scenes and it's delayed his entrance into the heavyweight division and he is going to be good for the heavyweight division but I do question now with this fight on April the 25th it's probably going to be just a sort of tick over fight get him into the division and then on to something else but 
if he is campaigning in Russia, how are they going to plot his path to a heavyweight title? Is he going to end up signing a co-promotional deal elsewhere? Perhaps he will go to top rank. That could be another option. Maybe he will re-sign with Matchroom, but just, you know, sans obviously these other outfits, Warriors Boxing and Ural Boxing. Uh, so, yeah, interesting with Murat Gassiev uh, dumping his uh, current arrangement, signing with a new promoter, fight coming up, all sorts of um, cloak and dagger stuff um, happening behind the scenes, clearly. But uh, he has a fight, April 25th, and I look forward to seeing who it will be against, how he looks in that, and for him to properly make the heavyweight division the sort of entrance we've been expecting of him for a while. What do you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.